and Julia Sondig, showing you where development is happening. Please come and join us. Ibom Automobile Plant to commence production by year end, says MD. The Ibom Automobile Assembly Plant promoted by Mimshak Merkavim, an Israeli firm, will come on stream by the end of the year when all the production lines will have been installed and it is expected to roll out commercial vehicles for use in the country. The groundbreaking of the factory was carried out about two years ago but commencement of activities was delayed due to the coronavirus pandemic and the fluctuation exchange rate which it was gathered affected shipment of machines and equipment. Valentino Acori, the managing director of the company who made this known while conducting a team from the Revenue Mobilization Allocation and Fiscal Commission RMAFC, around the factory in ITU, Aqua Ibom State said the firm would provide employment for about 1,000 Nigerians. Akori, who was accompanied by Israeli investors, said 20 employees are to be sent to Israel for training, adding that they would on their return train other employees of the plant. He said the assembly plant was designed to produce commercial vehicles for Nigerian roads taking into consideration the country's terrain and environment. He thanked the state government for supporting the project adding that by evolving to its present stage, there was no doubt the plant would boost commercial activities and fast-track the state's economy. We are going to produce vehicles here that will stand the conditions of Nigerian roads. We are building this having in mind the terrain of our environment, it is going to be a vehicle built in Nigeria and also produced for Nigerians. We are taking 20 people from Aqua Ibom to Israel for training. When they come back, they will train others and with the support of the technical team very soon, we will come back for commissioning," he said. In his remarks, the chairman of Revenue Mobilization Allocation and Fiscal Commission, Elias Mbam said the purpose of the visit was to allow for federal awareness of the employment potential of the state from the project and to inspect the state government's strides towards industrialization. I am happy that the revenue in which I am mobilizing is being rolled out here and by the time we start, people would pay their taxes and that would add to the revenue of the government," he said. In his remarks, the Commissioner for Economic Development and Deep Seaport, Akan Okin expressed the commitment of the state government towards the timely completion of the project adding that as part of its contribution, a dedicated power line was being provided to the factory to ensure steady and regular electricity supply. He commended the investors for identifying with the industrialization drive of the state government and urged more investors and entrepreneurs to take advantage of the enabling environment being created in the state by the present administration. The Merkavin Transportation Technologies Limited, shortened to Merkavin, is the largest bus manufacturing company in Israel. They produce many different types of buses, including tourism coaches, urban buses, long-distance buses and minibuses. In addition to this, they also provide specialist buses, such as bulletproof buses, prisoner transport vehicles and VIP transport vehicles. The company was founded in 1946 and is jointly owned by Israeli vehicle importer Mayer Cars and Trucks and by AB Volvo. Merkavim is Israel's leading bus manufacturer, developing, designing and manufacturing advanced models for a diverse range of needs, for both private and corporate clients. The buses are made with stainless steel to produce a wide selection of buses, including tourism, urban, long distance, and minibuses. In addition, the company manufactures buses that offer solutions for a variety of requirements, including bulletproof buses, VIP buses and more. Merkavim was established in 1946, and is today jointly owned by Mir Automobile Company, one of the largest automobile companies in Israel, and by Volvo International. Merkavim employs 700 staff members with an annual manufacturing potential of 1,000 buses per year. The company's headquarters are located in an ultra-modern facility, spanning an area of 100,000 square meters at the Caesarea Industrial Park. Aqua Ibom government satisfied with pace of work at car assembling plant. The Aqua Ibom state government has expressed satisfaction with the level of work ongoing at the car assembling, manufacturing plant located at Ikit Ukap Itam in ITU local government area. The government also expressed hope that when fully operational, the automobile plant being constructed by MIMSHAC, Merkavin Transportation Technologies, will create more employment opportunities for Aqua Ibom people.
The State Commissioner of Economic Development and Ibom Deep Seaport, Mr. Akan Okan, who led a high-powered technical team to the site on Friday, disclosed that the facility is expected to resume operations by the end of the year 2021. This project was slowed down as a result of the fluctuations in exchange rates, but I am very happy that notwithstanding the challenges posed by the economy, the team has been able to come back. All the materials for the factory are on the ground. From what the company is telling us, the projection is that by the end of this year, they would have started producing vehicles here. We're quite happy that this will add to the employment opportunities that are available to Aqua Ibom people and also and also help the government in terms of IGR, he said. Mr. Ocken lauded Governor Udom Emanuel for the support given to the construction company and for his relentless efforts in bringing more industrialization to the state. I am very impressed and I want to thank the governor for all the support he has given MIMSHAC to enable get to this stage. As you can see, they'll require a dedicated electricity line and that is being provided by the government," he added. On his part, the executive chairman of Revenue Mobilization Allocation and Fiscal Commission, Enga, Elias Mbam, who commended the Aqua Ibom state government for venturing into the automobile industry, called on other state governments to diversify their economies, in order to boost their internally generated revenue. I thank the Aqua Ibom state government for this wonderful initiative. From what I have seen here, I can say that vehicles will start rolling in here within the shortest possible time. I recommend this to every state government. State governments should diversify because when you diversify, you'd not only increase your internally generated revenue, but you provide opportunities for your people because I am sure that this plant when fully operational, will not employ less than 1,000 people," he said. Also speaking, the managing director of MIMSHAC Digital Limited, Valentino Acori, said on completion, the factory would produce commercial use, waste disposal trucks, firefighting trucks and private vehicles. Akori, who conducted the team around the facility described the automobile plant as a full package of Israeli technology which will produce stainless, non-rust suitable for Nigerian environmental terrain and roads. He appreciated the support gotten from the state government and revealed that 20 citizens of the state to be trained in car assembling in Israel, where they would return to train others. We are going to produce vehicles that are durable, vehicles that will withstand the rigidity of Nigerian roads. We are building this having in mind our terrain. We will make sure that local contents are being taken care of. We are taking 20 aqua abomites for training in Israel and when they come back, they will train others," he said. Present during the inspection visit with a senior special assistant to the governor on technical matters and due process, Enga. Ufo Ebom, technical partner of Merkavim Transportation Technologies, Mr. Jel Golan, amongst others. The promoter of the Aqua Ibom-based vehicle assembly plant, Chief Valentina Corey has assured that the plant under construction will roll out its first set of commercial vehicles in the first quarter of 2022. Akori disclosed this when journalists visited the assembly plant cited at Ikit Ucap Item, ITU local government area to ascertain the progress of work during a facility visit. According to him, when the plant is completed, it will have the capacity to produce 1,000 commercial vehicles yearly. Akori, who is the chief executive officer, Nimshak Transportation Technologies Limited lauded the administration of Governor Udom Emanuel for creating a conducive environment for private investors to come into the state. He said the state government in keeping with its industrialization drive had acquired land for the sitting of the plant and also constructed a dedicated power line to feed the automobile plant. However, he blamed the delay in the project completion to the outbreak of the COVID-19 pandemic and certain policies of the federal government. He disclosed that the firm was working with an Israeli automobile manufacturer, Mervyn, as its technical partner. The partnership, he said, would assist in technology transfer and backward integration. He called on the federal government to make more reforms in the area of ease of doing business in the country. The plant is about 90% completed. Everything you see here is prefabricated and brought for installation, as you can see the electrical, the production area and the spraying area have been completed. We have fixed the offices, and I can assure you that in the next six months, commercial vehicles from this plant will be in the market. 
Our target is to produce 1,000 vehicles in a year. We must commend the state government for looking at other ways of generating allocation for the state, not just the allocation, but something that can generate jobs and employment for the people. The government has assisted us by providing this land free and we have a dedicated power line drawn to the factory, Akori said. He tasked government at all levels to invest in the transportation subsector, reasoning that the sector was capable of generating several thousands of jobs and other investment opportunities. We are coming to take the automobile industry to another level, because of the types of vehicles that would be assembled here. This is the end of our program today. See you on Intervlog same time tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get new video updates. Thank you for watching Intervlog. Thank you.